Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where today we're going to be breaking down the newest TV spot that has a ton of new footage. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. Welcome back to all of the returning subscribers, but if you're new to the channel and you're just finding me for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on this video and any other video from the channel that you check out, and be sure to hit that notification bell so that the bell is filled in so that you're always notified the second a new video goes live. Alright, with that being said, we're going to throw out somewhat of a spoiler warning if you haven't seen this TV spot yet, but we will be throwing out actual spoilers from the plot of The Rise of Skywalker, so if you don't want to know anything more about The Rise of Skywalker's plot, this has been your spoiler warning. All right, so let's get into this. So here's what we have. We have this whole new TV spot. This is from the Star Wars movies official. It's from Instagram, so it's not really an official TV spot, TV spot, but I expect a widescreen version soon. And when that drops, I'll upload that as well. But right now you can go check out the original TV spot seven, and then we will have uh, the breakdown here. So you can come back and check that out. All right, so let's, let's get into this. So this first, it obviously starts off with this Lucasfilm. And then we get this classic scene from 3PO that we've already seen. There's no new footage up to this point. We just get 3PO taking one last look and his friends. And here's where the new footage starts. So we have the on December 20th. And now we're catapulted into the new footage. So we're right here. What is this? All right, so this is Vader's burnt mask that's on Kylo's pedestal, his Vader shrine that he has. This is from the plot leak. This is also from the second trailer that we got during that Monday Night Football where Rey and Kylo are clashing during one of their force bonds and we have Rey seeing that right here we have Rey seeing Kylo's shrine so she's this is from the part of the film where she's in Kylo's quarters and she sees the shrine and then Kylo initiates a force bond with her and then this is where the shrine gets wrecked so that's from that portion of the film we can see Ray clearly surprised that this is here based on her facial expression. And then we'll go a little further. We see the celebration on Pasana. This is where the gang is going to try and find Lando. Not new footage. That's just what's happening. And another similar shot. And here we go. We get some First Order stormtroopers trying to get the gang down on Pasana with Ray shooting at them. This is from the same portion of Pasana where they're trying to escape from Lando and outrun the First Order because they have already found the Millennium Falcon and the First Order has captured that from them. So they're struggling here to escape the First Order. And then we have the crux of this whole new TV spot where we see Rey here. And this looks like it's on the snow planet which would be Kajimi. And so this is where Rey is on Kajimi and we can see, if you look really closely here, obviously that black spot, this is Kylo. You can see the red the, t the outline of the red of his lightsaber there and if you go back and forth you, there have been some debates already about who this is and whether it's Palpatine or whether it's a Knight of Ren or whether it's Zori Bliss even and I'm telling you it's Palpatine or not Palpatine it's Kylo Ren because this is going to be one of their force or their lightsaber battles there's a ton of lightsaber battles in this episode which is going to make a lot of fans very happy myself included Lightsaber battles are a great thing. There should be much more of them in Star Wars, and I was kind of bummed that there weren't as many as I thought there should have been in The Last Jedi, so I'm very pleased with this so far. So this is taking place on Kajimi between Kylo and Rey, and I would assume that this is from the portion of the film where Rey obviously bests Kylo again and leaves him for dead before she decides to heal him and before Ben Demption happens, before he turns back to Ben Solo to help Rey against the emperor for the final time so that's where i would say that this is from so let's move off let's just watch that let's just watch that little sequence again because that's awesome here we go so we see it there's ray great camera work great cinematography and now we're going to keep going a little further we get a new look at kylo's mask this is obviously from the same part where we have earlier so you see kylo's mask how he's put it back together this is from this portion right here during their fight there which we can also see in the second trailer as I mentioned and so now we're back up to Kylo's mask this is from the same sequence there so we're getting certain new scenes being revealed to us slowly over time as these TV spots and trailers come out so we're getting more close up on Kylo here and then this is 
excellent here. Okay, so we have that's Kylo Ren, Rey, the rest of the gang with the Millennium Falcon, obviously about taking off. All of these First Order Stormtroopers are just sliding back. Kylo was able to steady himself using the Force, as you can see his hand on the bottom right. He's using the Force to sustain himself as all of these other First Order Stormtroopers fly by. And then we get the final shot here, which is been in the plot leak. I was really hoping we would see this at some point, and we finally have. We see Rey jumping off of the hangar, leaping into the Millennium Falcon as it's being taken off. So Rey was able to distract the rest of the Resistance, or the rest of the First Order, and while the rest of the gang stole the Millennium Falcon, kind of like we have in A New Hope, where they steal the Millennium Falcon back, and Rey is going to barely latch on to this, which is in the Jedi Paxis plot leak. So that is still confirmed. We're still getting all of these new plot leaks being confirmed the more footage that we see. And so Rey's leaping on here. And then we get some more of the space battle here. This is obviously from the third act. All of these Star Destroyers are the ones mounted with Death Star tech. That's why it looks extra tall from the top up. Then we have more footage that we've already seen. And then we get a slightly new glimpse of Rey behind Palpatine's throne. You can see this is obviously from a top view. So this wasn't exactly the same footage that we got in the second trailer. This is a little further back from that same shot. So probably 10 seconds behind that as it's going to pan in on the characters here on Palpatine and Rey. And then we have more of the fight between Rey and Kylo Ren that they said took six days to shoot while water cannons were going off. And we get Rey's angry face here. <laughs> And this is clearly from another one of their lightsaber battles. We've already seen footage from this, so we're just getting a little more look at that. And that is that. And then here is the best part of this whole thing. Again, is going to be this just latter half here where we get that new footage. So starting here, we're just going to check this out. Ray sees the Vader Shrine. And then we have the First Order Stormtroopers. They're escaping. Pasana, Ray and Kylo on Kijimi. Kylo and Ray in Kylo's quarters. And then Kylo using the Force to stop himself while Rey leaps onto the Millennium Falcon, followed by a new shot of Palpatine's throne room and Rey uh, meeting Palpatine again. Okay, and then we get Rey's angry face at the end. And that is this new TV spot. A couple of highlights again. There again is no new footage from the first couple of seconds, so if you want to see all of the new footage, you got to start halfway through. I'll... I'll be repeating this, I guess. I'll put it for a couple of times. I'll repeat this at the end of the video so you guys can check it out. But let, let, let's talk about one more time before we cut this video done is where all of these things are taking place in the film. So obviously this whole 3PO scene is going to be taking place where you see Zori Bliss here next to Poe. And at some point in the movie, Poe's going to be making kind of a pass at Zori Bliss trying to flirt with her, and that's not going to go well for him. But this whole thing is on where they're trying to take the Death Star, or not the Death Star, the dagger that Rey got that has the Sith inscription on it that's unable to be read. So they take it, and 3PO is able to read it as long as they can make his programming like new again. So they have to essentially wipe 3PO in order for him to read it, because when he, Anakin built him, his programming wasn't able to do that. And a lot of people are saying, well, doesn't that mean that... 3PO is going to be essentially dead, and why would they do that? Well, technically, you would think so, and in theory, yes, that's what's going to happen. But we all know that there has to be a positive ending here, because this is the final film of all of the Skywalker movies. So, R2 is going to have a backup for 3PO. Not going to be completely whole 3PO again. It's going to be something right after Force Awakens, in between Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. So, somewhere in that time, which is obviously, like... 10 minutes maybe at most so it's going to be from the last film so 3 is not going to remember anything from this film other than what he learns after he's been restored and so that is the 3 po portion so he's not really saying goodbye he's just saying goodbye for the last whatever part of this movie the last year and however much time has passed since then and then we have vader's shrine so we didn't see that at all in the last jedi and this is going to be taking place in act two of the movie and then we're going to keep going a little farther. Pasana, again, this is Act 1 when they're looking for Lando. So there's Act 1. This new Stormtrooper shot is still Act 1. The gang is escaping the First Order. 
and this is I believe that's Ochi's ship right there is where they're trying to escape it from so and then we have the Kajimi battle this is going to be taking place probably right at the end of act 2 act 3 and then we have Kylo again from the same shot as the Vader here get a little close up on that Vader helmet you can see that that's Vader's mask there definitely Vader's mask that's a front view from the side from the left hand side of Vader's mask and then we're gonna go back to this Kylo part again this is gonna be taking place during act 2 between the battle with Rey let's be clear that this isn't actually a face-to-face -face battle this is gonna be one of the force bonds Kylo initiates where this Vader shrine is gonna be shredded that way and then we have another this is from probably the very end of act 1 start of act 2 where Kylo uses the force to stop himself while Rey leaps onto the hangar so that they can get back to the rest of the resistance. And then this is the final battle, so that's going to be Act 3. More Act 3 with the horses. Obviously Act 3 with Palpatine and Rey. And then this is going to probably be... I would say this is going to be Act 3 as well. I'm, I can't remember def definitively where that's going to be taking place. But that is where all of that's going to be taking place as far as at what sequence in the movie you can expect that from. So we're getting Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3 all in this TV spot. So that's the f a full wrap-up. As you can see, I'm doing this on the fly because this just dropped. I just saw it. The official breakdown of the new TV spot with all of the new footage. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, and may the Force be with you.